What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this beautiful 2020 Forest River Surveyor. This is a really, really nice travel trailer. The Surveyor Luxury is the higher end Surveyor travel trailer. This specific unit has a lot of really nice amenities, especially if you're a couple and you're looking for a couple's unit that you can travel around the country. Anyways guys, hang tight. I think you're gonna enjoy this video. Before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,728 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 1,767 pounds, rides on D-rated tires and 3,500 pound axles. So this has pretty appropriate numbers in terms of meeting at least the minimum requirements to be able to haul a trailer like this. Now. As far as truck, what type of truck would I suggest for something like this? Definitely a three quarter ton truck. Uh, half tons, this is gonna be a little bit heavier than I would advise for a half ton truck. Coming around, let's take a look at some of the features on this unit. I like the fact that it has rack and pinion slides, runs on a six inch I-beam frame. This utilizes the Dexter Equiflex suspension system as well. Has nice aluminum wheels on it also. And something I've mentioned in other videos is the fact that you're starting to see some manufacturers move away from frameless windows simply because you get more airflow with your standard framed windows. You know, maybe mixing it up and putting some frameless, some framed might be a good idea because this window right here only tilts out very similar to a frameless window, whereas the area you would want the airflow is generally on your slides. Let's take a look inside of the storage area up here. Huge storage area. This has a tremendous amount of storage space. Definitely like how they've utilized that. Underneath, you can see that it rides on a drop frame as well. You're starting to see more and more drop frames on travel trailers, but that is what gives you this huge storage space underneath. Up front, you can see it has a power tongue jack coming around. Nice long awning, looks to be about a 20 foot awning covering most of this side. Back your water heater, you have power outlets back here. This is gonna be the back of your furnace. Closer look at your trail air suspension. This is really nice, this is a LCI component. You can see the rubber bushing above it. Nice looking wheels. I'd probably upgrade the tires relatively soon. This has the Moride step above step system. Coming to the back. I love this. I absolutely love this tailgate storage system. I wish more RVs would incorporate it. This is a really great way to haul your bikes around or whatever you need on the back in a more secure fashion. Just because the brackets, everything that kind of secures it to the back is very, very robust. Nice full walk on roof. You have all LED lighting and it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Has scissor style stabilization jacks. Something that is really cool worth noting, Asdell construction. No rot mold, no warpage, protects against DLAM, is unaffected by humidity, has more insulation value than the typical wood backer. It's lighter, longer lasting. That is a great upgrade to see on this surveyor. Stepping inside of this 267 RBSS. If you're a couple and you're looking for a couple's unit, this is the one for you. Again, three quarter ton truck towable. Very, very nice unit. I love the tones. Has an MSRP of 38,880 and they're selling it for $28,782. Nice theater style seating here. I love how it's extra wide theater seating as well. So you have plenty of room to put your arm down. I like the dual cup holders pointing right at the TV. Very nice. Plus lots of cabinetry storage here as well as underneath here. Something that's very nice is how they have this really great closet space behind the TV. Plenty of room back here to store really whatever you would need to store. Shoot, if you took those shelves out and you're into biking, you could probably put a bike rack up here and actually mount a bike inside of here. If you turn the handlebars sideways and took the front wheel off. Coming around, let's take a look at the bathroom area. This is a rear bathroom unit. Lots of space here, more storage here. Nice size cornered shower unit. More storage here, more drawers there. Lots of countertop space next to the sink. This has a tremendous amount of space in this bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet, 
just a very, very nice rear bathroom stall. Coming around, lots of countertop space right here. And I always like these. Flip up counter at the end, gives you even more space. Plenty of room for a coffee maker here in the back. Good size microwave, nice cooktop area. Plenty of countertops, plus they give you drawers. Something that I really like to see in any type of an RV. You have your 12 volt refrigerator right here, which is really nice. On this side, it comes already equipped with day-night roller shades. Very nice to see these being included on travel trailers. And for under $30,000, this is just a good value. Coming around to the front bedroom, it's a queen size bed. The cabinetry, the storage surrounding it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the front window right here as well. A lot of natural light, plus the ability for you to kind of enjoy the sky and your scenery whenever you're going to sleep. Very, very nice setup. You have a place cornered here to mount a TV. Really nice pocket sized doors in here. Lots of room on each side of the bed to get in and there's plenty of height here so you don't have to worry about hitting your head when you get out of bed, plus more storage on the sides. Again, this is definitely what I would consider to be a couple's unit. You can sleep two additional people here on the dinette area if you'd want to, but overall it's just set up really well for a couple. It really is. I'd love to get your opinion on a unit like this. You know, this is definitely a relatively common floor plan. One of the things that's nice about it is it's relatively light for what size it is. The fact that it is, you know, something you can tow behind a three quarter ton truck is nice. Um, again, it is a little bit too heavy and long for a half ton truck. I generally recommend a half ton trailer to have a gross vehicle weight rating around 6,000 pounds. I know some people disagree with that, but Again, I like to practice you know, the safest possible towing as possible. And I think people who have towed trailers in that weight with half tons would tend to agree, but I know a lot of people don't and they're perfectly fine towing with what they have, which is perfectly fine as long as you're doing it safe. Now, what else I love about this unit is the fact that it uses Asdell construction in the walls. That's huge. That is gonna eliminate or at least greatly reduce headaches associated with wall issues whenever it gets wet, whenever it's high moisture, whenever there's a lot of humidity in the air. It's basically a way to just add extra assurance that your wall, the structural integrity of that wall is gonna stay intact. I love that they give you some extra space here. So if you have kiddos that are with you and you need a place for them to sleep, you have a spot here. I like the fact that they put the dual cup holders side by side here. You get really, really good separation and space on the theater seating, which is very nice. The price is also very competitive, $28,782. In my opinion, you get quite a bit for that money. Anyways, guys, I would love your feedback and your comments below if you have an opportunity. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.